Hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and I'm going to show you a really cool free asset which is called Selection Identity, which allows you to navigate around the scene view like I'm doing here and allows you to show the name of each object that you're actually highlighting over. So I'm going to show you this asset, show you setting it up. There is one thing that I have to mention which isn't in the setup documentation because it's specific. So stick with me and check out my Patreon to get access to over 175 different scripts, assets and projects. And also check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything in game dev. So what you can do is you can navigate to the Unity Asset Store and it's the Selection Identity tool. You can click here to add to assets and then open inside Unity. It should then take you to the package manager, which if you can or it doesn't, you can go to Window, Package Manager, and I'm in URP at the moment, and then find the Selection Identity tool, which will be in My Assets. Make sure that you click to download and import. And in the console, you will get a set of errors which we need to fix. We can go into the selection identity tool folder, the editor, and go to the name that tool script. You see there's an issue with the terrain API because it's using the experimental packages which used to be available. Now we can comment that out because we don't need to use it. Now we can use using unity engine dot terrain utilities with a semicolon on the end. And then once unity recompiles, we have it going. Then you can go to the top, you can go to window, you can go to selection identity and then you'll get the pop out and you can place that wherever you want. And with the selection identity, you can turn it on and you can start identifying objects. You can turn it off. You can show the text or not and it will show a preview at the top if you don't have the text on. If you want the text available and you can also, you can limit the size so you make it much smaller or make it absolutely ginormous and obviously change the color if you really want, if there's something that's more suitable to you. So I hope this is a cool little asset that you get hold of. And there's a few changes. I think it should be something that's built into Unity, just in case you want something like this. So be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. Check out my Patreon to get access to over 175 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the savings that you can find in Game Dev Unity and more in the links below. Check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website. But a big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Vericas, Walter Dunson, Rene Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getajank, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Hoagland Nigoyan, Career for Life Gaming, Sung Ji Park, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, G.Y. Quaid, Duan Cooper, James McCarthy, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Mark Vacon, Andre Ferreira, Larry Antu, Dylan C, Pablo, Liam Gray, Eric Young, Warblin Lynn, Dennis Foreman, Lemu, Shane Finley, and Carl Frederick. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.